Hello there, Pathfinders. This is Mr. D. This is my continuation of the Pathfinders Honors for Flags. And if you have not, please mark on the subscribe. And if you like this portion of the honor, please let me know. This part has to do with guidelines dealing with flags. This is my third section of 10 sections of this honor. At this time, I'd like to bring up my screen. Let's see here. I think this is it. Hold on a second. There we go. I think we got, as you can see here, it says here on the flag screen, number three, be aware of important guidelines. Let's see what I put in here. Oh, it says stage three of flags. No three important guidelines for the care and the handling of your national flag. Well, I have here, while some specific handling instruction differs somewhat, between countries, the following is nearly a universal protocol. The national flag should be flown above any other flags. According to the U.S. flag code, the U.S. flag takes precedence over all other flags when flown within the United States. It should not be flown lower than another flag, nor should it be smaller than another flag. Boy, it sounds like the big one. And it's like, and the same display, internationally or international usage forbids the display of the flag of one nation above that of another nation in the time of peace. So in our country, in the United States, the American flag is on the top and is bigger. And it sounds like with other country, it holds an equal proportion in the, in the scale. The national flag should never touch the ground. The U.S. flag code only states that American flags should never touch the ground or anything else below it. The federal law does not specify the height at which American flags should be flown. With that said, it generally is a good idea to fly the American flag at least three to five feet off the ground. Okay, respect by respect be shown to the flag, including subluting the flag. Let's move this up here like this. Salute the flag whenever, whenever it's paraded, when the Pledge of Allegiance is said, or when the national album anthem is played. Those not in uniform should salute the flag by standing at attention, tall and straight with their arms at the side and place the right arm hand over the heart. Okay, that's one's not in your uniform. But in military.com, they kind of uh, enhance that just a little bit. It says here, all persons pr present in uniform, military, police, fire, so forth, should render the military salute. Members of the armed forces and veterans who are present but are not in uniform may render the military salute. So I guess they could if they want to, instead of have to put it over the heart. All other person present should face the flag and stand at attention with their right hand over their heart, or if applicable, remove their headdress with their right hand and hold it at the left shoulder, the hand being over the heart. Hmm. And the last part of some of the guidelines they have here is what do you do when the flag is tattered and you just you need to get rid of it. You need to dispose of it. It's just not good. When storing or disposing of a flag, do the following. This is again from military.com. Fold in the traditional triangle for storage, never wadded up. It means there's a particular way you should fold this flag and not put it in a big bag. The flag should be folded in a customary manner. It is important that the fire, 
that being fairly large and sufficiently intensity to ensure complete burning of the flag, place the flag on the fire, the individual can come to attention, salute the flag, recite the Pledge of Allegiance, and have a brief period of silent reflection, maybe prayer. After the flag is completely consumed, the fire should then be safely extinguished and the ashes burned. Please make sure you are con conforming to local and state fire codes or ordinances. Now, you will see below here, how do you fold the United States flag? Well, according to remember on the first one of this getting rid of they, they want you to fold it in a traditional way. So I have a link on here, which is also mentioned in a later stage on how you might want to fold the flag. And I'm going to show you what it does. When you click on it, it comes up with this screen. And this screen has, um, let's see if I can scroll up a little bit. Yeah. I'll move this over a little bit. So if you go to the top of the document, it goes how to fold the flag. It talks about how to lay it out and fold it down. This is what they're talking about there to fold it all the way down to the traditional triangle shape, you know? And then you can burn it and so forth. Now, this concludes stage three. Oh, I don't know what you think of this hat. I asked God that I wanted a hat that would be unique to Mr. D, except for a little bit of a uh, see how it's kind of thin at the top and it doesn't help with my hair being thin but I think it's going to give me a new character I was going to get some sunglasses too but you know my wife said what I should do is get some really big ones like this make Mr. D very noticeably well you know what I look forward to stage 4 and continue on with this uh, honor uh, and try to finish it up in the next couple of weeks, this being the start of June of 2023 right now. And looking forward to the summer and all of the kids going to summer school too. So I will see you soon. Stage four of Honors for Flags. Take care. God bless. Bye from Mr. D.